the city of Rome, home to one of the oldest public health facilities in Europe. Santo Spirito in Sassia Hospital was constructed in the 8th century. Over the years, as it was rebuilt and expanded, it addressed many of the health and social challenges of its times. In the early 18th century, one of those challenges was rinderpest, or cattle plague, an ancient animal disease that was crisscrossing Europe and Asia, wiping out entire herds of domesticated and wild animals, and taking a toll on human livelihoods and food supplies. There is no comparison, no possible comparison, between rinderpest and other diseases. Of course, when cattle die, it is about meat, it is about milk, it is about other animal production. At Santo Spirito, the chief physician, Giovanni Maria Lancisi, began to study the rinderpest problem on orders from Pope Clement XI. In 1715, Lanchisi completed the world's first book-length manuscript on Rinderpest. Today, it is part of a historic 20,000-volume collection of writings. Manuscript number 305, that's the name we use to find it in the library, is a sort of compilation of all of Lanchisi's notes on Rinderpest. And there are edicts, too. It includes the texts of new regulations designed to fight Rinderpest. It's a huge collection, like an extensive diary of his research. Lancisi wrote down 11 specific recommendations for responding to and preventing the spread of Rinderpest. And that's where we get the term quarantine from. So it was a physician who first developed the notion of the quarantine. And we still use that today. The recommendations made by Lanchisi and other researchers led several countries in Europe to adopt quarantines and order health certificates on imported animals. They were only part of a long series of scientists, researchers and leaders who would seek to control repeated outbreaks of rinderpest. Rinderpest eventually spread into Africa. Disease and culling caused widespread famine in the 19th and 20th centuries. The virus also infected herds in Brazil and Australia, though briefly. If you could imagine that you are an owner of a hundred animals, a milking herd, by the end of the week you would have zero. It would go so fast through the population. Continued outbreaks in various countries led to a series of international meetings, starting with one in Vienna in 1871 and another in 1948, organized in Nairobi. In the 20th century, Rinderpest led in part to the formation of the World Organization for Animal Health. That institution later became a key partner when the UN Food and Agriculture Organization formed the Global Rinderpest Eradication Program in 1994. The program brought together existing regional initiatives and support from donors like the European Union. It had the advantage of one of the world's most effective vaccines, which was developed by Walter Plowright in a Kenyan laboratory. Nearly 300 years after Lanchisi wrote his book about rinderpest, the global campaign to eradicate the disease can finally claim success. No one has seen a case of rinderpest anywhere in the world since 2001, and following exhaustive field searches in the remaining spots around the globe, indications are the world is free of this devastating disease. <laughs>